What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video, I wanted to show you guys how to install iOS 10 beta right now, absolutely free. Now this is ahead of the public beta release and the official release, and you don't even have to be a developer to do this. Now just a warning, I'm not sure if this is a glitch or something that will eventually brick your device if Apple patches it. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it because it's very, very cool. I highly recommend you guys get a developer account if you wanna do this the right way without any bugs and without any chance of bricking your device. Regardless, I thought it was really cool and simple so I figured I'd show it to you guys anyways. Keep in mind that iOS 10 is extremely buggy so I really do not recommend installing this on your daily smartphone. You're going to experience a ton of bugs so just a warning before you go ahead and install this. This is really simple, totally free and if you guys are willing to do this, here you go. All you have to do is click on the Dropbox link or the SendSpace link down in the description below on your iOS device to open up Safari and you will see that there is a mobile config file attached to it. Basically what this is is a profile to install on your device. If the link in the description is not working, all you have to do is search Google for the iOS 10 upgrade profile to download for your device. All you have to do is simply go ahead and click download on whatever site you're on. It'll bring you to the settings application. All you have to do is click install to install the profile. Click install one more time, install one more time, and your device will restart. Go ahead and click restart. Once your device boots back up, all you have to do is go into the settings application, go into general, click software update, and you will see that the iOS 10 beta update will actually pop up in this software update section. It's really that easy guys. All you have to do is go ahead and click download and install when it pops up in your software update section. It's really, really easy. I thought it was really cool. So I just figured I'd show it to you guys. But like I said before, iOS 10 is really, really buggy. I don't recommend installing it on your daily smartphone. I recommend installing it on a test device if you're going to try it out. Also, I'm not sure if this is going to brick your device if you're not a developer just yet or if you're not in the public beta program. But I just figured I'd show it to you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, Google Plus page, and Facebook down in the description. And also be sure to check out my links to get paid iOS and Android apps for free in the description. And as always, guys, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.